All right, welcome back. I am very excited about today's video. It's Saturday morning and I'm gonna be taking you with me to the flea market and we're gonna see if we could find some really cool stuff. So grab your cup of coffee and let's go. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Are these from the uh, Franklin Mint, these things? I believe they are. How much are those? That's not bad. They're pretty cool. Both for 50. That's your best price on these? Uh, How about 40 bucks? Uh, I'll do 40. Nice. I'll do 40. Yeah. I actually have the Easy Rider one. So oh, dude. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, those yeah. are pretty sweet. Nice, thank you. You want a box or something? Or you be able to? Uh, uh, yeah, if you have a box, that'd yeah, be awesome. Yeah, because those things, yeah, plastic things come off. Yeah, that's yeah, what I figure. Recovery thing. Let me just see what I got here. I can, uh, yeah, sure. Nice, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Awesome, thank you so much. No problem, take it easy. All right. Thank you. Man, I was super excited this morning at the flea market when I came across these two Franklin Mint Harley Davidson motorcycles. Now, when I saw these, what attracted me to these motorcycles was not just the motorcycles. I knew what they, I knew what they were immediately when my eyes locked in on them, but I really wanted the cases that went with the motorcycles. So I know these are pretty valuable, and I actually have the pair of Easy Rider Franklin Mint motorcycles, and those things are awesome. I have the Captain America and the Billy Bike. Now, those motorcycles from the Franklin Mint can go upwards of $600, so they're worth a lot of money. Now, I haven't had the time to look to see what these um, items were worth, but it really didn't matter. And when the guy said, you know what I mean, he'd take 40 bucks for the pair, I, I just had to have them. So I thought that was a really good deal. I definitely wanted them for the cases. And for now, because I just got them this morning, I'll probably keep these for a while, display them somewhere. And if I ever want to sell them down the road, I can. Or if I want to put the Easy Rider motorcycles in the cases and just sell these motorcycles, I could do that. But man, I got to tell you, if you don't, if you're not familiar with these uh, motorcycles from the Franklin Mint, they are so well made. And they were expensive back in the day, actually, when they were sold. I guess you would open up like a magazine or something, you get the little insert, and then you'd have to order it. You know what I mean? The old school way. But anyway, these things are very, very well done. And they're not plastic, they're like made out of metal, and or whatever kind of die cast material or whatever. Definitely well made, and I was definitely excited and happy about this purchase this morning. So there you go.
jack on. How much were the kiss cards in these garbage pail kids? Uh, 60 on the kiss cards. There's probably 200 there, close to it. Uh -huh. And um, I'll do 60 on those. I've never seen the pins anywhere. They're not. Oh, uh, that's 20. And then these are all $10 each. And the, and the posters are 20 each. How about 100 bucks for both? I mean, it's early, I could do 110. 110? And I'm giving it to you cheap already. Yeah, all right, I'll take it for 110. That's right. 24, 60, 80. 24, 60, 80. There's a hundred. I don't know. Alright, thanks a bunch, man. No problem. I appreciate it. I got some, like, you're into music? Yeah, like Kiss stuff. Uh, Anything like that. It's not Kiss stuff, but I rolled up white posters there. That's all Led Zeppelin. Oh, nice. Alright, thank you much. Now, I was definitely excited when I came across these next two items at the flea market this morning as well. So let's get into it and start with these vintage Garbage Pail Kids pin back buttons. Now, I really like these. When I walked up to the table, I really just love these right away. I've never seen these before. And after talking to the seller, he's actually never seen these pin back buttons before either. So anyway, I'm not like an expert in Garbage Pail Kids stuff. Um, I do see the stickers out there and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not really sure about the value on those kinds of things. Every time I ask about the garbage pail stickers and stuff when I see them, usually the prices are way up there and I just don't know what they're worth to spend that kind of money. But I figured when he hit me up with $60 on these, I knew he gave me a really good deal. He's a really cool guy and actually um, I bought a bunch of stuff off him before and he, he gives me pretty good deals on stuff. Anyway, he's never seen these and I never have either, but he's got some excellent graphics on them. So if you know anything about these pin back buttons, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know a little bit about them so I'm definitely interested maybe I'll start collecting this stuff I don't know if I could find it on a good deal and I thought these were a great deal so anyway I'll hang on to these for a while I'm probably not going to sell them but while I was there I got so jazzed up on these garbage pail kids pinbacks that I almost missed out on these kiss cards so I was waiting for the guy to come back to the table. I was looking around a little bit. I walked away from the kiss cards. I didn't even see him. And I came back over to the other side of the table and boom, I, saw, I was like, man, how did I miss that? I'm thinking in my head, but these are awesome. I knew they're worth a lot of money. Well, not a ton of money, but I knew they're worth some money. So there's about 200 cards there. And these are the series two uh, kiss cards. They had series one and series two. Now, I already have these in my personal collection. I have a mint set of uh, Series 1 and Series 2, but these are worth a little bit more money, and I didn't really look at the uh, condition right away, so do as I say, not as I do. You should really open them up and look at the condition, but after looking at them when I came home real quick, um, they're in really great condition, and I'm really happy with the purchase. He sold me both of these items for $110, and I thought that was a pretty good deal, and I'm pretty happy about that. So even after 30 years of buying and selling and going out to flea markets, yard sales, antique shops and stuff like that, I still get excited. And I think that's what keeps me up in the morning. You know, I get my cup of coffee. I listen to some music on the way to the flea market. You find some cool stuff. Life is good because you got to do some fun stuff outside of work. And this for me outside of work is just really fun and I enjoy doing it. So hopefully you, uh, hopefully you like this kind of stuff. And I think that you do or else you wouldn't be watching this video. So there you go. All right, it's time for me to rock and roll. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and tagging along with me at the flea market. Thank you. And if you enjoy this kind of content and this kind of stuff and going out looking for stuff at flea markets and yard sales and antique shops and all that, um, definitely hit the little like button, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. This is a brand new channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content to YouTube. So with that, everybody have a great week. Have a great day. See ya.